da, 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 financial credit marking. Da, 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 da. Hello there, my friend. Uh, it is I, Mr. Cornelius Cornwall, here at the Grand Ole Arkham Sanitarium Annex. Now, rest assured, um, here at Cornelius Cornwall's Corn of Corn, Corn Capacupa Bank. It's a very long title. But, rest assured, we can, um, what's that? This room is too bright for you. Okay, yeah, let me just turn that off real quick. Okay. There you go, my friend. Is that better? Good. So, what brings you down here to Cornelius Cornwall's Corn Corn Bank? I see. You want to make a deposit. Well... Uh, rest assured, we can make a deposit whenever you like. Just uh, please give me your account information. What's that? Your account information is in your wallet. Well, if you could please hand me your wallet, please. Please and thank you. Okay, thank you for getting that for me. This is this is your debit card. Okay, thank you. If you could please hand that to me real quick. All right, there you go. So your name is Mr. Joshua, right? Okay, my name is Mr. Joshua. And you are our Golden Card Platinum membership, correct? Good. Now this does come with many qualities. It um it comes with the ability to use the transporter to different multiverses whenever you want to. You can go on lunch break with people at the SCP Foundation, which is, we have our own little attachment here at the Arkham Sanitarium Annex. We even have our own cafeteria. It comes with many benefits. See, the three big ones are you get free meals, um, you get to get whatever video game you want, um, past, present, and future. And I think one of the biggest, um, one of the biggest pluses with this is you get to just sit back and relax and use all the facilities of the Arkham Sanitarium Annex, even the Arkham Sanitarium, whenever you want to. Yes, it's, it's very nice. Now, if you could please tell me the number of your gift debit card, okay? It's 4142, okay? 3828, is that correct? Four four seven zero, okay, eight three five seven. So, you want me to repeat that one more time to see if it's correct? Okay. And these are the sixteen digits of an actual debit card that I found on the sidewalk outside of my house. So, actually, no, I'm just messing with you. It's a Visa debit card that has like one cent on it. So, if anyone's watching this video, if you want to steal this debit card information, I don't really care because it has like one cent on it, and there's no way I can even add more money to it. So it's just a dummy debit card. Anyway. So the 16-digit code is 4142-3828, is that correct? Okay, and 4470, okay, and 8357, okay. When does the card expire? See if, if you can read this out for me. Okay, 0629. Now if you could please read that one more time, please. The 29th of June. You are correct. You are absolutely correct, sir. And this is your Platinum Membership card? Okay. And you did read all the um, bonuses that come with that, correct? Alright, good. Now, I'm going to put down your CVC code in the back of it. And the CVC code is 215, is that correct? Would you like me to repeat this information one more time? Okay, so the 16 digit code is 4142 3828 4470 8357 and the card expires on the 6th of June 29. So, basically, yeah. Or the card expires on 0629 and the CVC code is 
215. Did you get that written down? Okay, good. Now, what is your account number? I'm currently looking it up on my computer real quick. What is your account number? Okay, let me enter your code. 4142. Okay. 3828. 4470. 8357. Okay. That's good. Very good. Very good. Very good. It's all checking out. And your card expires on 0629, correct? Good. Okay. Let me enter the CBC code real quick. All right. Well, let's check here on my computer. Well, um, good news and bad news. The good news is there is a check recently deposited in your account and you have now have uh two billion three hundred and twenty seven trillion uh dollars in your bank account does that sound correct okay it's actually pretty good that's the highest number that we have here on our account let me see if i can correct this real quick no, forgive me, you have $2 million in your bank account, not that high number. Okay, and, oh dear. It seems as if there was a recent withdrawal from your account. Now, I, I don't want to sound rude or mean or vindictive. It says that you bought, what does that say? It says that you bought a, oh dear, that certainly doesn't sound right. It says here that you bought a premium membership to the hub, oh dear, in November as well. And it says that you watched 2,000 videos, oh my goodness. Did you buy that membership? No? Well, it's this is your card, if I'm correct. I mean, it, I mean, hey man, you, you gotta do what you gotta do, but just, you know, sort of go along with the rules, but anyway. It says here that you also bought a 220 foot long jump rope. For your cousin Sally, that doesn't quite make a lot of sense. Forgive me, my bad. Uh, what, what did you come here for? The what did you come here for today? Okay, you came here to deposit money. Well, uh, if you could just please hand me your wallet real quick. Thank you. My oh my. This is rather quite a lot of money indeed. So, um, yeah. Let's see if we can count this off. 20, 40. And this is all your money? Wow, this is this is rather quite a lot of it. If I do say so myself. And like they always say, money makes the world go round. Indeed. Anyway, so you would like to deposit sixty-five dollars into your account? Well, that's good. We can certainly do that. Let me just enter your card number real quick. Okay. So your total will bring up up to two million and sixty-five dollars. Then after tax, it would be two million and seven hundred million dollars. Does that sound correct? Okay. Good. Let me enter this real quick. And there we go. Money has been established in your account. 
Thank you for coming by Mr. Cornwallis's bank, and we hope that you have a wonderful time today, okay? And the what the heck are you doing here? Oh, all right, now he's dead. Lord, I never liked that bank. All right, drag the body. I always hate killing the... I always hate killing him. And you there, sitting in front of the camera. Stay right there. Ah, uh, yes. Feels good to be back. Now you listen here. I don't have time or the money for this, okay? Now, unfortunately, you stay right there. You stay right there, my friend. If you move, I'll shoot you and take all your money. Okay? Sounds good. Okay. Sorry about that. My name is, uh, Mr. Pickle. It's Pickle Crits. Very nice to meet you. Uh, and like I said, this is a bank robbery. But thankfully, this is an ASMR bank robbery. Uh, just minus the whole loud noises. This is an actual gun, just more modified. Now, rest assured, if you stay completely still and you comply with all of our requests and give us all your money, then you can just pretend like this never happened and who knows, maybe you can join our crew. Now, just, oh dear. Your friend bleeds quite a lot. He's, um, it's quite a large puddle. Is that a xenomorph? Oh, jeez, hold on. Okay, put the end of that one. There's also been a very large xenomorph infestation here at the Arkham Sanitarium Annex. Uh, but yeah. So just stay completely still, and nothing bad will happen. Now, like I said, my name is Mr. Pickle Critz, and this is a bank robbery, but an ASMR bank robbery, so rest assured. And I'm also accompanied by my very good friend, uh, Mr. Reggae Santa. Say hi, Mr. Reggae Santa. Hi, my name is Mr. Reggae Santa, and I'm here to take all your money, 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 money. Yeah, he's just going to stand right there. Hey, Mr. Reggae Santa, here's a gun, and keep, keep it aimed at his head. Where was I? Oh, yes, your money. You're not going to give us your money. Oh, I see. Well, uh, rest assured, we have our own little uh, transaction methods. In fact, we have one of the best transaction methods here at the Arkham Sanitary Manics. Now, I want to ask this only one time. Give me your money. Oh, you're not going to give me your money? Okay, that's fair. Well, um, how about now? Oh, so now you want to give me your money. Okay, Mr. Santa, here, use the weapon, keep it aimed at his head. Do not, and I repeat, do not eat all the cookies this year. Yes, I, I know, I know, okay? You stay, listen, you stay right there, keep this aimed at his head. Okay. Now, Mr. Santa doesn't play around, okay? He has a gun, and he's not afraid to use it. He's actually part of the Crips. He, he's a gangster in Los Angeles. That's his part-time job. Okay, here's your gun. Keep it aimed at his head. Now, <laughs> I'm sorry. If you refuse, we're just simply just going to shoot you. And what's your name again? Oh, you're the patient. I see. Your name is James Kreitz. Well, nice to meet you. My name is Pickle Kreitz. I know it's the third time I said that. Just shut up. Um, now, I'm sorry that that happened to your friend there, but it's called the business, so what are you going to do? Well, where was I? Oh, yes. Checking something real quick. To simply put it, we just need your money. So, if you could, Mr. Santa, if you could please search the man real quick. Okay. Hey, boss, I found something in his pants. All right. 
Oh, would you look at that, Mr. Santa? He found your uh, found your bank card. Thank you, Mr. Santa. All right, now use your gun. Keep it aimed at his head. Now, let's enter the information here. The code says four one four two three eight two eight four four seven zero eight three five seven, and the card expires on. 0629, and the CVC is 215, is that correct? It is? That's good. All right. Now, rest assured, your money will be in safe hands. It'll be in the best safe hands in the world. In fact, it'll be in clean hands because of the virus. Now, thankfully, with the conquest of Earth 323, or whatever it was called, and ever since the loss of Dr. Bicycle Helmet, he's unfortunately passed away. He's now Dr. Motorcycle Helmet, but more transformed. <sighs> ever, since the, 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 ever since we cured the coronavirus, everyone's been feeling uptight with these masks. Well, I mean, it's really up to you. But wearing a mask is part of my profession. I used to enter a bank all the time, and they'd always throw money at me. For no reason whatsoever. Then the cops would chase me down the street, but we don't talk about that. Now, is this your right bank card? And like I said, this will be in safe hands. Okay. Mr. San, if you could please give this for right, give this for safekeeping. Okay. What's that? You found his wallet. Well, I don't believe you told us about that. Okay. Sir, is this your wallet? I see. You would have Another debit card. Oh my, this is the Black Platinum membership. I'm going to enter this card as well. Now, is your code on this one uh, 0244? Is that correct? Okay. 0326. All right. 8108. Okay. And 9750. All right. And the and the card and the code of which it expires is 0923. All right. And your CBC is 215 on this one as well. Okay, well, I'm just going to put that over here. Let me access your bank information. That's a beautiful day outside. There we go. Right in his account. Mr. Santa, go grab yourself a cookie. I got the I got the customer. Okay. Hey, I didn't say move. You stay still. Good. Now, what is your how do you put this? What is your total amount of money? No way I could just search that up. See, you have two million and seven hundred thousand dollars in your bank account. Okay. And it says here that you recently purchased a premium membership on the hub. You do realize that stuff's for free, right? I'm not even gonna question. And you fell November. Poor man. Well, um I can't judge because we all even Mr. Santa failed it. Isn't that right, Mr. Santa? Yeah, he's, he's looking at you. Um, yeah, so... What is your code to access your bank account information to withdraw? Okay. It's 3375. Okay. Thank you for your cooperation. And... What exactly... How much money... You know what? We're going to withdraw all your money. And do you have any cash on you with hand today? Oh, you do? Please hand that over. Thank you. Oh my, oh my. I have a lot of money indeed. 
Well, I'll just put that in my back pocket as an extra tip. Okay. Now, right, I'm going to start the process of pulling all your money from the bank. There you go. Just like that, you have no money in your bank account now. Now, unfortunately, we can really leave no survivors. I'm sorry. You already know our faces, and you already know Mr. Santa's face. And yeah, it's very itchy trigger finger, as do I. Now, I'm going to give you two options. You can either, one, be shot and be like your friend over there on the floor who's completely gone now. Uh, Mr. Santa, do you know where he went? You, you don't? Did he just walk up and leave? Lord. I shot him in the heart. How is he still... I don't know. Um... We'll take care of him. You can either, one, be like your friend, shot and somehow ran away, or you can join our crew. Yes. Well, actually, we have our own little benefits. We have our own little spot here at the Arkham Sanitarium Annex. It's a wonderful spot. You get free food, free supplies, free guns, free everything you want. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is not really much of an option. You gotta, um, join or die, basically. Okay. So you'll join. Good. Good for you. Now, unfortunately, there's a carrying fee for, um, for joining. You have to pay us money to join this organization of ours for robbing banks. It's kind of like a Ponzi scheme, but more illegal. Now, th th the initial startup fee is $65. Do you happen to have that on you today in cash? Okay. Please hand me that cash. Oh. Okay. 20 25 35 40 60 And $65. Well, my friend... Welcome to the organization. Now, we have to get out of here because I think the Arkham Sanitarium security is almost here.